impossible to discuss the 2017 Chevrolet Colorado ZR2 without mentioning the three-ton predator in the off-road marketplace, the Ford F-150 Raptor. Yet Chevy has done well in imbuing its more modest, mid-size pickup with arguably even broader talents than Ford's wonder truck, including respectable prowess across open ground that doesn't impede its technical acuity on the trails. We've already verified the ZR2's backcountry moxie when fitted with its optional 2.8-liter four-cylinder diesel engine. Being generally averse to spending more dollars on fewer cylinders, we had to know how the ZR2 with its standard gasoline V6 fared under a mud cake microscope. And to warp my wagon. Along with the diesel's $3,500 upcharge, the main difference between the two was their power delivery. Despite the 3.6-liter V6's 308 horsepower at 6,800 revolutions per minute, it produces only 275 pounds to foot up to work at a lofty 4,000 revs. In contrast, the 2.8-liter turbo diesel masters just 186 horses yet churns out 369 pounds to foot barely off idle at 2,000 revolutions per minute. In off-road terms, that means the low revving diesel excels at crawling through the woods like a tank, whereas the V6's stronger power band makes it more effective at building higher speeds off-road. The gas engine also is notably quieter at idle and at full throttle, although both engines produce about the same amount of noise at 70 miles per hour. The ZR2's standard 8-speed automatic, the diesel gets a 6-speed auto, is a smooth operator both on and off the road, even though it hastily upshifts to top gear, making the more high-strung V6 feel sluggish in normal driving. While the 3.6-liter takes some prodding to wake up and doesn't sound as sweet as it does in General Motors passenger cars, an active exhaust like the Chevrolet Camaros would have been a nice touch, there's no masking the gas engine's substantial Corolla ponies. With its additional 122 horses and 226 pound weight advantage, the V6 ZR2 bettered the diesel version's 9.1 second 0 to 60 mile per hour run by a full 2 seconds and trounced its quarter mile time with a 15.6 second pass at 90 miles per hour thanks to the same gnarly off road tires that are quick to surrender on tarmac. The 4,749 pound V6 truck fared about the same as the compression ignition model in lateral acceleration, a dismal 0.69 grams, but the V6 Colorado needed 11 more feet to stop from 70 miles per hour, taking 199 feet. Our V6 rig also averaged a V8 like 15 miles per gallon during its two weeks with us, which is 2 miles per gallon less than its EPA combined rating and only 1 mile per gallon better than what our 450 horsepower long-term Raptor is returning. The six-cylinder achieved 90 miles per gallon on our 200-mile highway test, one mile per gallon above its EPA rating. The ruffian in your pickup. No matter the engine, this is the same Butch Chevy pickup that sports wider, tougher bodywork to accommodate 31-inch tall tires and a 3.5-inch wider track versus lesser color autos. Its underpinnings are fortified with about 2 inches of lift, hefty skid plates, and greater suspension travel, 8.6 inches in front and 10.0 at the rear. Revised springs and Multimatic's innovative spool valve dampers bolt to a reinforced chassis, while electronic locking front and rear differentials turn 3.42 to 1 gears and 17-inch aluminum wheels wrapped with knobby 265-65 R17 Gunier Wrangler Dirt Track Tires. As effective as they are at guarding the ZR2's body when grinding over obstacles, the protective rock rails protruding from beneath the doors are even better at dirtying occupants' pant legs while they're getting in and out of the truck. Although the 212.4-inch long crew cab often feels, and nearly is, as large as a full-size pickup, the ZR2 can navigate narrow, wooded trails that would entangle a raptor like a trawling net. This was especially helpful at our local off-road park, where the Colorado suspension articulation and individually selectable locking differentials, lockers, in the 4x4 community, lend an impressive traction and maneuverability on paths usually reserved for jeeps. 
while it never will be as composed as the extra-wide F-150 on steep ground or at high speeds, the ZR2's suspension maintains a firm grip on body motions and is backed up by relatively precise steering feel. Regardless of the terrain, activating the ZR2's off-road driving mode via the transfer case knob relaxes the engine's throttle response, forces the transmission to hold on to gears longer, and tailors the ABS and stability control systems to maximum effect. With its compromising off-road rubber and price premium, $5,845 to $6,930 over a Colorado Z71 4x4, depending on the body configuration, the ZR2 resonates loudest with committed off-roaders. Nowhere is this more apparent than with the truck's full-size spare tire and wheel, which, in its stock configuration, hangs below the back of the truck like a full diaper and is easily damaged by obstacles underneath. The alternative is our test truck's Baja-inspired tubular bed bond, which for $615 negates almost all the usefulness of the Colorado's cargo area. Neither option is ideal, but at least the bed mount is easy enough to remove with a few bolts. We did it no fewer than three times when our drivers needed the ZR2 to function as a pickup. Capability Costs The ZR2's cabin is rather basic and dotted with the same chintzy plastics that handicapped the Colorado in its last comparison test with the Honda Riga line. At the top of the Colorado's hierarchy, it's relatively well outfitted with a trailer brake controller, heated leather front seats, the rear bench is vinyl, automatic climate control, wireless device charging, multiple USB outlets, and 4G Wi-Fi connectivity. Our example added $495 navigation to the standard 8.0-inch MyLink touchscreen infotainment system, which required another $500 to upgrade to the premium Bose audio system. The smaller, extended cab ZR2 starts at a sizable $40,995, with the more practical crew cab tacking on $1,625. The ZR2 is not an ideal daily driver, but at an as tested $44,230, our example essentially splits the base price difference between two of the best production off-roaders, the $38,000 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon and the $50,000 Ford Raptor Super Cab. With the beefy Colorado's wide-ranging skill set, its optimal engine is largely dependent on what you plan to do with it.